Hey, everybody. Good evening. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Uh, hang on. I'm putting myself. Can you guys all see me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Good evening. I'm um, calling the um, Penfield Victory Garden um, order meeting to order. 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 I'm Nancy, the uh, chairwoman, I guess, presiding. I've uh, I tried not to take it, but I'm back. I don't know. It could be a bad penny thing, but we're here. Um, so the first thing we have is approval of our minutes from January. Does anyone have any questions or changes or? I would make a motion to approve the minutes from January. All right, we've got one motion. Do we have a second? Yes, I'll second it. All right, Dave the Bat second it. So <laughs> we've got those approved. Wait, 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 wait. And we can, um, we can uh, update those on the, on the site. Um, we have a general communication and general garden news update. Um, as you know, um, what are some of the general news updates? Well, we have- February 3rd, we had the town board update. Yeah, we had the town board update and we can uh, kind of talk about that if hopefully someone got to see it. And we had the sprout just went out. So um, by all means, uh, take a gander at it, see what we can do. In the sprout was the town board update. Um, key talking points that we discussed at the last minute meeting. With minutes too. And in the sprout this month, um, the editor decided to put the entire member manual in the sprout. Just as a reminder, because people get their manu member manuals, but just to have it maybe in the sprout a few times a season was something that was suggested. So and we've done that. And also remember, we've made a few adjustments to it. So it'd be good as a a new re, you know, review just to make sure we kind of all know uh, what's in the manual and um, what some of the rules are. And there was one typo, I think, in the sprout, and that is my fault. Len, I spelled your name wrong on the committee list, so I'm sorry. I'd hold it against her, Glenn. <laughs> At least for half the half the growing season. <laughs> you put three ends in, or what? No, I spelled it with an A. <laughs> That's pretty bad. So it's Glenn. Glenn, how you doing, Glenn? <laughs> I'll fix it. I'm sorry. I apologize. No harm. Nancy, so like, yes. Can we add uh, the uh, uh, the pepper plant thing? Yeah, Dodd had left that out. We had actually just talked about it, so we'll put that in on new business okay. when we get down to that. Yep, we will. Um, so the update is there. We had um, a nice chat um, with everything and um, the town seemed really pleased with what we've been doing. We talked about all the Boy Scout projects and how the growing season was and how much we donated. Um, it was, you know, in spite of the fact that it was COVID, it, it was a fantastic season. I think we had a really fantastic year last year and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm already looking forward to this year, especially because all my seed catalogs are arriving. Um, so we've talked about the member manual. We've talked about the board. Um, we have any public participation? I seem to, anyone have any public has joined? I don't think. Dave, do you want to be public for a minute? <laughs> we, we can pretend we don't know you. <laughs> um, we have some action items. Um, I, I think we already got it covered. Yeah, the thank you cards don't belong there. Yeah, the thank you cards were a mistake. We had obviously finished them. Um, so that's kind of our only action item. Um, we do have our financial in, which I printed out, but it didn't go. Uh, but um, Sabrina, maybe you can give us a quick gist about what's going on in the financials. Yeah, I apologize if I, I forgot the attachment for that. Um, we are at full capacity with the beds rented. So your um, budget total right now is $2,472. Nothing has been spent. Okay. Well, we'll take care of that. <laughs> Spending. Now, do we have a wait list? There's a couple on the wait list. I haven't, I was surprised I haven't gotten um, calls lately for it. Um, it's been several weeks since, since I got a call, but there's probably two or three on the wait list. 
Okay, and there's always still options that we may have changes, even though right. people are reserved, they may decide not to. Yep. Okay, cool. So we've got uh, money, uh, budget. Um, so we should be good to go to start um, our gardening. We do have a few things that we're going to have to take care of this year. So we will. Projects. We have some projects in the game. And um, luckily I got to um, chat with Sabrina. So I have a few things. Our pasta dinner has been approved. Um, we just got to pick our date. And then Remember, we'll... it's a takeout dinner for members only. Right. So it's a takeout dinner, members only. We're, um, we'll find a date that's close to when we normally have our potluck. And our goal is to have, um, we'll talk to you know the committee about, excuse me, maybe having um, kind of a little fun gift, uh, gift for all the gardeners. We'll have our, um, we'll have our member brochure in there. Um, we still have, and I still have tons of seeds. So I'm thinking of, you know, we'll include some of those for people to plant. Um, so we're going to have to find a pick a date on that. When do we normally have our in April, May for our, uh, a dinner? April. April. So that's probably where we're probably going to shoot for some time there. We'll probably look on the date and then um, get that going and get it set up. Um, Debbie Draw has already offered to donate um, rolls, even though it's not a fundraiser, it's just for our dinner, but she uh, said she'd like to contribute. So that's really great. And then we can pick up uh, the meatballs and sausages that will go with it. So it should be a lot of fun. And it's a great way to kind of at least get our garden, the gardeners together, even if we're just waving to them as they drive by. Can we can we book it for the third Thursday in April just to keep it consistent? Is that possible, Sabrina? The I'll check the schedule. Yeah, check that. And if that can do it, if you can just reserve it and let us know, that okay. would be fantastic. And that way it kind of stays with our general order our calendar as it is yeah um one of the projects we're going to have to start planning for and i know we're still working on it is the um the solar installation which obviously right now when it's 25 degrees is not going in but we'll uh, probably look to do that in april sometime in may um i can reach out to larry about the solar installation because he's done those at his camp and at the scout camp so. right and i'll talk to my friend jim and maybe between jim and 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 larry. larry and the rest of us helping we can be able to get that up and running and going so we're we're ready to start the season um also um sabrina came back with some garden dates for um seed um seed class seed starting class and so we have a bunch of them um in you know March, like the first week in March, like second, third, fifth, ninth, tenth, uh, or twelfth, is anyone anyone have um, a recommendation on what day? I thought we'd work in the big um, the big uh, classroom, the whatever that's called, the general room, and we do our seed starting. Mm -hmm. um, I have all the seeds. I'll have most of the materials. Um, people can come and um, start some seeds or pick up seeds. We'll have them laid out and then. Will that just be for members? Uh, I think we're going to probably just to keep it controlled would be more for members. Um, I don't know. Do you want to open it up? What do you I think, Sabrina? What do you guys think? Any thoughts? Um, I mean, even if it was opened up, we can put a cap on it. We could. We could open it up. It might be a fun thing. Why don't we pick a, um, we'll look at a couple dates. You take a. I would go with the second week in March because the first week in March is two weeks away. Right. So maybe the second week in March. Um, what's the, what day is the 9th and the 10th? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, I think. Am I right? And then 12th. Is nope, just, it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, 9th and 10th. 9th and 10th. And then uh, what's the Thursday is um, 10th and 12th. 12th is Friday. Oh no, that'd be a, yeah, that'd be Friday night. The twelfth is Friday night. Yeah, you can't. No Friday. Um, what do you think? Um, it doesn't matter. Wednesday, Thursday. Whatever. We could do. Well, I'm just thinking. I teach till. Yeah, don't do it on a day when you teach. I teach on Wednesdays. I teach till I'm not home until six. Yeah, it's crazy. Do it Thursday. Um, I could do a Thursday. Is that is that the tenth? No, there's no Thursday. So the tenth the is a Wednesday. The 11th is Thursday. Right. She doesn't give me that date. So the 9th? 
The ninth is a Tuesday. Tuesday will be fine because I don't work. I don't teach. I'm home early on Tuesday. So why don't we hold the date on the ninth for us, if you could? And um, I have most of the materials. We can get it organized. And then, uh, Dot, can you do the? Can you do that day too, Tuesday? Yeah, I should be able to. All right, so Dot and I and anyone else can join, and then we'll send it out via email as well, and um, we'll consider uh, setting up um, a little announcement that you can post on the website if you could do that for us, Sabrina. I can. I'll jot down what's going to go on and what's happening, and then okay, we can yeah. work from there. Sure. Okay, that'd be great. Um, what else new business do we have? We're in projects. Oh, we're in projects. Um, also, plant sale. Um, the plant sale. Um, we, uh, Sabrina and I um, said that that's also been approved and it's okay. It's going to be in the parking lot, so no inside, but it'll be the same thing. We'll just spread out further around the parking lot and kind of allow for, um, we'll space the tables way out so people can kind of... Um, shop and point and then we'll have people collect and box up whatever they purchase so they're and then hand it to them so there's not a lot of picking up and looking at just like the public markets are kind of working the same way Chris would your um would your be interested in the plant sale or no I don't remember what our our club isn't um um gonna do it this year. Okay. I think we decided last year not to do it. So I I know I have some plants I could probably donate for it for it, but okay. the club in general isn't interested. Okay. Okay. We have um I may reach out to a couple other clubs, um, see if they're interested. And then I have some stuff and I'll be starting a lot. And then we'll as usual, we'll have um, a lot of um, started vegetable plants, some of which um, we'll pick up at the auction, some of which will be um, Bauman's has off offered again to allow us to buy at cost, which is nice so that we can then sell them and make a profit, which is great. He's been pretty supportive the last couple times we've done that. Do, uh, we, do we have any dates we can pick on that, Nance? Well, I was looking on, um, what do you think on Saturday, um, one of the sad days, like last time we did it, um, the Saturday that best kind of coincides when we had it last time would be like the 15th, but I don't know. Do you think that's too early? Maybe May 15th. What do you guys think? Do you think the May 15th is too early? Do you think it's plenty of time? I, I mean, we'll have a lot of spring crops, obviously. Um, I wouldn't think it's too early. It depends on the weather, but. Right. Well, I mean, that's, we've had it last time, like the 16th, the 19th. It's all in the, been that same time. Um, there's Chris, a Chris was going to say something. Chris, yeah, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I I kind of was thinking it was a bit early. If people are going to be buying annuals, I don't know. So I think what's, the, what's the next weekend, which is the 20th, right? Or 22nd? May 22nd, Chris? What do you think? Better? When's Mother's Day? Uh, the 9th, I think. It's May 9th? 22nd is yeah. probably safer. You know, with a... You know, All right, well, we could do, we could do, why don't we tentatively hold, um, Sabrina, if you could check on that, the 22nd on a Saturday, it'd probably be like nine to one. It'd be very short. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm going to be selling at the public market for the Sunday, the Flower City Sundays. That's why I, I moved it to a Saturday instead, considering I'll be bringing a lot of um, herbs and veggies and stuff that I'll donate to the garden and then I'll probably have some annuals as well. So we could do the 22nd on a Saturday, nine to one. We won't have any food or anything. It will just be the sale. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, what's nice is, you know, hopefully the weather's pretty good back by then. We'll have um, quite a bit of um, vegetable plants and I'll have some annuals will be a lot of herb plants that, that the garden can sell. And then I've got some stuff that I'm actually growing um, to sell for the garden as well. So we should have a pretty good amount. If anyone, um, we can make a call out. If anyone's thinning their gardens, feel free to um, pot up some things, use some new potting soil. We're trying to control those little invasive worms. And uh, if we can raise a little extra money, it'll be kind of nice. And it's, you know, if you're going to have to buy, start she might as well buy them from us so it'll be kind of fun and let's see 
Any other projects we have going, Dot? Um, the only other project that we might have going is the Pepper Project. Right. Yep, so, bring that in now. Um, Dave, I don't know if I was supposed to contact or you were supposed to contact on the Pepper Project. Do you remember? Because I didn't. Uh, yes, I did contact and I have some core correspondence. The uh, people that run or the name of the organization is small X, A, X, E, Peppers. And it's uh, three people that run it. And uh, they're supposed to, I'm supposed to be getting seeds in probably the next week. And uh, I'm, they ask us to do two things to make a, U, make a UPS login and then also create a UPS uh, shipper account. But before I fill any of those things out, I want to uh, make sure, first of all, we get the seeds. And then he there's a phone number they left. I think I'll just call them to be sure. It it looks all legit, but I always get a little nervous. You wanna, when, if you want to explain a little bit about what it is so the rest of the committee can hear about yeah, it? This is a, a company or a organization that uh, tries to get community gardens throughout the, the states to grow peppers and then ship them into them. And uh, then they take those peppers and they make, uh, let's say the name of it is uh, uh, Small Axe Peppers Hot Sauce. And then they provide, uh, they pay for the, uh, the shipping account at the end of the season. So that's what. Uh, and and it, they name the hot sauces with like the names of the gardens. I saw some of them on the internet on their website. You saw what? I'm sorry, I couldn't hardly hear you. You're okay. muted. I'll mute, go ahead. So they, they have the uh, pepper bottles named for the different gardens that they um, make the pepper sauce out of from those particular gardens. So like when I looked on their website, Dave, they had like hot sauces that were named after gardens in like um, Memphis, Tennessee, and in like Washington State and New York City. So they had all these different um, gardens Dave, we can donate those peppers, or are yeah, they? Yeah. No, I think we're donating them, and then they, I, I don't quite understand. I've got to call and check with them on that. It okay, says, if you, and if hey, you want me to check over it as a second set of eyeballs, I can do that too. It, it, this letter I got from them, or this email, it says, um, this allows you to bill us to send the peppers back to our kitchen. And this allows us to track what you have sent throughout the season. And most importantly, pay you at the end of the year. So there's some monetary, I mean, I don't know what it is, but. Uh, right, right. So okay. I, does, so it looks legit to you? Oh yeah, it definitely looks legit. Um, it looks like their, their thing is that they are um, they're pretty much buying the peppers from community gardens to support community gardens so they can send money back. to community. It's almost like a fundraiser for your community garden, basically. That's what it is. Because yeah. you're, 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 you're able to earn funds for those peppers. And then you also get sort of the exposure and like, you know, if we were to have a fall dinner, maybe we could have a bottle of that pepper sauce to, raffle off to want our gardeners or something like that. Um, okay. But we don't make any money off of the actual sales of the hot sauce. It's just oh yeah, right. fundraising for us by basically um, selling the peppers to them for their uh, product that they use to support community gardens. It's an interesting way that they're supporting, you know, community gardens actually it's it's interesting what they're doing 
So, so they're going to pay for the peppers? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they pay a premium price. Right. But yeah. Right. Yeah, because they, they're going to if they're going to reimburse for the UPS uh, shipping, I guess. So that's well. Let me do two <laughs> things. I need to uh, first get the seeds. I ordered enough for fifth. 50 plants, I had no idea, you know, uh, how many we were going to need. And I suppose uh, if we need more, we can probably get them, for, get it from them. Uh, and then I wanted to have some uh, personal contact with them to uh, see how this UPS thing works. And when they say you pay, what do they mean? Is it uh, $400 per pepper or is it uh, 400 of a cent, whatever? just to give us an idea. Right, yeah. I did look at their website and it looked, you know, it definitely looked like it was something that was real, legit, and um, probably a kind of a cool little startup project. Okay. Well, we're not going to be planting them for probably another month or so. So, I At least a month, I would think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me some time here. Okay. We, we have time. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. That's so, awesome. I have a question. So are, are, is there any issue with the town with us growing things and selling them out of the garden? Because I thought I remember previous discussions about things like that, that there might be an issue with the town. I'll have to find out more about what you're doing, what it is, and um, I'll find out. The, what's been discussed before is roadside selling. Um, so I can find out. Yeah, okay. I don't Thanks. think it's going to be, you know, a, a huge amount of income if we cover the cost of uh, sending the, the UPS, we'd probably be lucky. So, and I, I would, uh, I would think that could I would be agree too that we could just uh, donate it. Well, if I remember um, before, it is the road size. We can, we can grow stuff in our garden and bring it elsewhere to sell. We yeah. just can't sell it at the garden. So if we're shipping them somewhere, that's the, you know, it's not at the garden. So you, you could. Um, but, and I, I think it's a little different thing because I think we're, you know, I mean, everyone's probably going to, you know, not everyone's going to do it. We, we collect them. Everyone grows one or two plants for each, uh, in each bed. And then we harvest and ship them three or four times during the, Summer, it might be a fun, a fun way to do it. You want that? Yeah, sorry. All right, so it might be a fun way to um, be able to, um, you know, see what what what's available. I mean, if they, if, if the committee would like, I can send them all the um, link to the. I will. I'll just send everyone the link out to their site because I'm looking at their site right now. I just signed up for their newsletter so I can see what it looks like. Can you also um, send it to Sabrina so she kind of knows what's going on? I will. So uh, this Okay, might, any other questions regarding can people... This might grow into you? something bigger. Hang on. So, uh, you know, the first year, I guess they've had growers that they've used for a number of years. So uh, this kind of will be a, a test run but does the town think we get in trouble because we're making hot sauce and give people heartburn? <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. All, right, All right. So those those are our projects that are kind of in the works, and uh, we'll 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 worry about the hot burn uh, later. Um, we had a few operations things. Um, do you know if um, Samira wanted to know um, if we had the Equipment winterized has have you been in, have you checked out? I haven't. I couldn't get into the shed the other day when I was there. Yes, so icy. Yeah, no. We don't know. It's kind of icy <laughs> and snowed up. So the remote camera was yeah, I have a, I didn't hear that they couldn't get in there, but I didn't hear that they got it either. So I I never know if it's been done. You'll eventually get there. Um garden orientations. Oh dot why don't you talk on that? Hang on, let me let me mute first. Let's play our game here. All right, I think I'm muted. Go ahead. All righty. Got to turn that sound down. <laughs> okay. Um, 
garden orientations. We have eight new gardeners. I believe that's correct, right, Sabrina? Eight. And um, right. yeah, I'll be reaching out to them and once again do a garden orientation on site. If anyone else wants to do garden orientations on site, I can um, help you out with that and help you get started. Uh, I just call the people say, hey, would you meet me on any of these days? I do it on a phone call because I find that with email, a lot of times people don't respond. So I really, I have Dad, to make there's the phone actually call. 13, I just counted. Oh, 13. Oh boy. Okay. So yeah. So I'll start scheduling those as soon as it's warm enough and the snow's melted. All right, that's uh, fantastic. 13 new gardeners. Maybe we can get one or two new committee members that way. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Um, we have a um, bunch of held items. Bunch of held items. Um, again, just to kind of keep this in everyone's uh, thoughts, we still have to move the shed and then hardscape around the shelter and parking lot and the flower bed. So that's still on our agenda for the beginning of the season. Just as a reminder, at the last meeting, um, one of our scouts said they might be able to do the shed. They're definitely going to do the hardscape. So we have somebody to do that around the um, shelter area. Can you guys hear me OK? OK. Um, then we also have the hardware cloth um, in the shelter, um, gutters, and rain barrels. I got to say something. All right, Don has to say something. I'm going to mute. No, I'm just going to say it real loud. They can hear me. Okay. I'm only six feet away. Um, <laughs> and I am yelling. <laughs> it's a normal voice. What you, don't believe her. My normal voice. Um, I went to the garden on, what day did we go there? I don't know. One day this week we Tuesday. walked up there. And there are already sparrows nesting in the areas that Larry didn't finish with the hardware cloth. He did part of it. So we already have some sparrows there. <laughs> well, we'll move them out. We'll move them out before they make eggs. Well, they're going to make eggs. Uh, well, we can get them out before the eggs. Um, the ribbon cutting, which as uh, we kind of progress, I think we should be able to have that sometime in July, hopefully. Let's ask Sabrina for some dates. We'll, we'll talk to her offline. Okay, that sounds great. Um, bad house and owl nest box. Um, um, we're, that's held. No, they're all held. Um, we're Are you going to give Dave the bad house you have so he can look at it? I can. Um, I'll, I'll send it to him so you can take a look at it. I'll bring it over. You can take a look at it. Maybe he can move in. <laughs> yeah. Dave, are you there? <laughs> He's there. Um, I can bring it over so you can take a peek at it, Dave. Okay. Well, I'm just hanging around right now. But I know. Yeah. <laughs> you well, need to turn your camera on because some people didn't get to see it. Oh, okay. he says, I'm not sure he wants to, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, um, Nancy, while I got you, yep. will you help me start the, the pepper plants? Yeah, I can get them all started. I have uh, about 30 banks of lights in the basement, so they're already running. So okay. we can get them started and, um, and uh, get them going and grow them. And if you want to do them at your house, I can bring you stuff to do it. So either way. Okay. Um, we can get it set up and uh, get them growing. And I'm going to be growing, um, starting quite a bit for the seed for the sale. Um, and we can just add those to it. I just obviously we won't sell them. Um, you know, but hot peppers are pretty good. So I can help you with that. Okay, great. Did anybody happen to see that the library's got a uh, gardening course coming up? No. Yeah, take a look. All right, I'll take a peek at it. What do they have? A gardening course. Really? What is it? I don't Hold remember up. the name of it. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble seeing my notes. Dave. Dave. Hello, Dave. Hi, Gordy. How are you? Dave, can you hear Gordy? I want to ask you why he's upside down. <laughs> What do you mean he's I'm upside, upside down. down? We're upside down. He's right side up. That's your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. So um, I think we've covered anything. Does anyone have any questions or um, things to bring up regarding the garden? I'd like to. Years ago, we had a sidewalk auction or sale on items that were donated. Oh, a garage sale? No, it was on the sidewalk up front. Dave yeah, yeah, there. no, I know what you mean, but yes, I remember organizing that. Because I sold a router table, which I wish I still had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was an auction or a sale. <laughs> Dave, Dave would know. Oh. Kind of like a garage sale, it I thought. It was a big yard sale. Yard yes. sale. Could we do that again this year? Uh, I don't know if um, traffic-wise would be good. They're doing that. They're starting that project this year at the corner. They're expanding Atlantic and Five Mile Line. Oh, that's a mess right now. Yeah, it's going to well, get worse. It's going to get messier. So I don't think we should plan anything at the garden except our regular work days. Right. I agree. Okay. Yeah, it's but, gonna go on for months, that project. So maybe next year we could uh that might be something we could put in on our work, um, on our goals. All right, anything else? New business? Any new business? I, I have a question or a possible suggestion. We, okay. We still have a lot of uh concrete blocks available. Uh, uh in doing the mulch, uh Sometimes there's a lot of, of uh, good soil, you know, maybe two feet under the top stuff, more recent stuff. If we could get a volunteer to maybe one of the Boy Scouts to build another bin, you know, so that we, you know, the idea of moving the top layer off and being able to get to the bottom layer. Because usually, sometimes we have a shortage of bins, especially at the beginning of the season and the end of season. So yeah, we could probably use another one. Yeah. We could we could make another one. We have room there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I think we have enough blocks, don't we? At least to make one more. Probably. And if not, we'll do our normal um, scouring of the free giveaways, which we've done in the past. Yeah. yeah. yeah I remember when we cleared for the possible section for the uh, when the. Uh, Gordy's barn was going to be turning. I remember moving a lot of blocks back to the end. There's quite a stack back there. Yes, we did. So, Greg, you would put it down on the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that could be put in probably one of our first work days. Yeah, we need another one. He's right. Yeah. Yeah, we could use another one there. I agree. The more the merrier. Because <laughs> the whole goal is to be able to move them around and then have a finished a finished we may even want to make um one of them a finished a finished soil bed where people can just roll their um, wheelbarrow up to it and fill it up and go back so we may want to make two if we can one that's a fully finished one maybe maybe in toward the front and then another one on the other side yeah because it seems like uh, every time you know when we used to you know go a group of four or five people to do it you know the the first thing we had to do is take off about a foot or two of, you know, stuff that was still not degraded. Mean, down at right. All. Yeah. Now we can do that. We can put, I think there's room to make at least two more. And I think maybe we should, the more we have, the better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes it easier. Yep. Okay. All right. So I think we're doing pretty good. Anything else? Right. Well, we have another meeting coming up on the 18th. It looks like we're going to try to do our seed starting on the 9th. Um, we'll, we'll get that in the works. I'll chat with you um, or send you an email, Sabrina, on what, what's kind of in, um, going to be involved. Um, we have, what else? We're going to have, um, we're going to try to get a pasta members only potluck dinner drive by on our third Thursday. Oops. Third Thursday, can you help him? Um, third Thursday of uh, April. And uh, I think that's where we're at. Any, I, can I say one other thing? Uh, that has just, some more. Very quickly, I just want to thank Chris for agreeing to be our secretary again. Oh, thanks, Chris. She has been our secretary for many years, and she's just fantastic. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because none of us want to do it. 
<laughs> Thank you, Chris. Lisa wants to do it. We appreciate it. It's nice to have uh, it nice to be able to have notes and meetings and minutes and everything. So thank you again. You're welcome. Well, um, I guess we're uh, we're we're done. You know, we're adjourned. I think it's uh, still winter. Once we start um, growing and get going, I think we'll have a little more to cover. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Sabrina, again for supporting us. And um, we're Thanks adjourned. Thanks for putting up with me. Oh well. What else? We're not putting you down. Babe. We're not Don't <laughs> worry. We're putting up with you. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, have a wonderful stay warm and um, uh, think gardening and start perusing those seed catalogs because it's time. Bye. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye -bye. See you later. Thank you.